How's it going guys, welcome back to another video today on my channel. Today's video guys, I'm going to be doing a video where I'll be explaining the Simon Sluga situation at Luton Town Football Club, so I hope you just get into the video. So guys, starting off, basically this video is going to be me basically ranting about Simon Sluga, Luton Town's Croatian international goalkeeper. So basically about a week ago today, um, the time I'm recording this, we lost 2-0 to Derby away. It was predicted we were probably going to lose to Derby, but... We thought we'd at least give a fight and maybe get a goal or something, but the reason we basically did lose was because of Simon Saluga. He let in a goal, which was a back pass from Sonny Bradley, and he let in a goal where it was a cross from uh, Tom Lawrence from the wing for Derby, and he's just cost us so many goals this season, and it's so hard to put into words, really. The thing is, though, guys, me and my dad have known he's been an issue since, like, day one, ever since that mistake at Middlesbrough made, where he sort of just, like, let the goal uh, in at near post against Asun Belonga, Asun Belonga. Ever since that incident happened, me and my dad knew he wasn't going to be amazed. Now, that's not me just saying that. That is the actual truth, and we knew he was going to be a calamity in goal, which he is at the moment. On top of that, He's not just made mistakes from the Derby game and the Middlesbrough, he's made mistakes from me at least one every game, or at least two every um, game, and it's just an issue. He is an actual issue in goal, and he's actually costing us games and costing us goals, and he's just a massive problem, and I think we should put James Shea back in goal. He's experienced, he got us through League 1 and League 2, and I think he should come back into the team. I also would say that he is another Steck in a way. When we signed Steck, he was from Czech Republic. We thought he was going to be insane. We thought he was going to be the next blimmin', I don't know, Peter Czech, Petr Czech, but he wasn't. And same with um, Simon Sulig, he hasn't proved his worth, and he, in my opinion, is an absolute waste of 1.3 million. The big question needs to be asked, though, will Graham Jones drop him? Um, for the next game where we will be playing Bristol City at home. To be honest, uh, my dad, rather me and my dad having a bet, my dad thinks he will drop in. I don't think he will. I think Graham Jones, he spent 1.3 million on signing a new goalkeeper and he obviously knows he's wasted it, kind of, but he still wants to use Saluga anyway. So he will, I can tell you now, he will play in next game against Bristol, but my dad thinks he'll start Shea because Graham's job at the end of the day is on the line but that's a little bit me and my dad do have but guys i do want to know your thoughts in the comments below do you think saluga should be dropped do you think he should be playing do you think she should come in tell me what you guys think in the comments below i even do a poll i even say do you think saluga should stay in goal do you think she should come in or um do you think it's graham jones's fault that saluga's not actually performing but guys i'm actually going to end the video here hope you have enjoyed um remember to comment your thoughts on this situation in the comments below i'm gonna call it the simon saluga situation because that is what it kind of is and yeah thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace